What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here. Welcome back. So, decided to do a little uh, pre-exploring of the town, see what would show up. Uh, so far, I've seen two random encounters. Got a got a bath, spent the night. We're gonna see if the day is any better. But so far, you know, a uh, little little bit disappointed with Saint Denis, Saint Dennis, or Saint Denny, as one man called it. There just doesn't seem to be a lot to do around here. How are you, my love? You know, they're saying the city's revised school charter doesn't even pretend to offer francophone. All right. Really, game? Well, I guess we'll get a good look at the weather effects. Yeah, but so far, <laughs> on my way over here to see what would happen, uh, I had one guy just have a bucket of shit fall on him, and another guy trying to run from the cops that just got tackled. And so far, that's been it. Um, I know when we streamed and I kind of ran around the city here, I had, I had the one guy that was trying to... Uh, it was like a gang of kids, basically. I ran into them. But... The more I play this, the more I'm noticing that, you know, there's there's all this this talk about how organic the world is in Red Dead, and to some extent, yeah, that's true, but it feels like a ton of it's just, you know, very, very scripted, and, you know, once you've experienced, you know, 10, 15 events, it just feels like areas dry up, so. Uh, I have not done a show yet, though, so this might be something good to look into. Still have a few seats left. In the mood? Can I buy a ticket, please? The theater of Rallur awaits you behind those doors. Curious to see what these theaters have. It's just a, you know, actual sit-down show, or...? Fancy man seat. Hello! Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. Italy. Really? I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? Oh. <laughs> the greatest wealth is your health. 
All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. Here we go. That these are indeed live rounds. If my sharp shooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Hey. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> This always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. Just a single As live I, round. The great Benjamin Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death. As if it were nothing. Wow. What is he doing? Like an obvious blank, though. <laughs> like you don't even see the bullet trail or anything. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do that again. Hmm. Hmm. Take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of. Dang balderdash! Ah. <laughs> a skeptic. There we go. I am Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet. In my Did teeth. Is no one man enough? How do I how do I do it? I wanna go. Come on! Someone this is stand a up and take a shot. Show. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, Nobody ready. cares! <clears throat> Take aim. Oh, the fight is too much. And fire. He's gonna knock his teeth down. Oh. Is he okay? Damn. How did he do that? It's a plant. Hang on, I gotta get downstairs. I gotta get downstairs. I wanna shoot this dude in the head. Don't tell me you already guessed the ending. Oh, sh are you kidding me? You're telling me that one ended? Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Mm. All right, well, at least I'm down in the front row, so I can call the bullshit out this time. Of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, 
I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! And so far, she's just dancing. Oh, here we go. Those comments are the best. All right. Yeah, baby. Imagine being that asshole that has a gigantic fucking hat at the show. I'd say the fire breather was cooler than the magician. Oh, wonderful! Oh, incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called 
The telephone. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis. And they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss. Except for the inventor of the telephone. Because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Doesn't really sound Polish at all. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess. I wonder if like they'll react if you piss him off enough. You need to get another job. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I should worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby. So it seems like cheering or antagonizing don't really do anything in the theater setting. I figured like maybe somebody would be like, would you fucking stop? No, nothing. Nothing at all. Women shouldn't be doing this. What a fine tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks here. as men bash into them to their doom. Can't pull up my stuff. Thank you for joining Monster. me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal Get coil. This Good night. Dream well and come back soon. It's all nonsense. That's that's it. Damn. I was hoping I could, you know, try and like pull out my guns, hold everyone up in the theater for their money, or jump on stage and fight the guy. But looks like I can't do any of those things. register right there but I can't even do anything like this is I guess this is my problem is just you know in a game that's supposed to spout freedom of choice and you know how much of the world you can interact with there's a lot of the more I play the more I'm finding there is a ton of just placeholder shit basically why can't I hop this counter and steal from that register why couldn't I go on stage and punch the dude why couldn't I have 
know, interrupted the performance. And why are all these goddamn doors locked? Weapons not... Get it. Weapons disappearing back into my holster. I can't even do anything with it as long as I'm in here. I'd come back later, I was you. Not much going on right now. It's the right beauty of a day. Yeah, like I'm still having fun, but uh, at this point I'm pretty convinced that people are overselling this game. Because people have been swearing up and down that this is like the second fucking coming of Jesus. It's fun, but it's not that good. Down here, maybe I can... Some horse upgrades. Keep up the hard work. You're just looking for trouble. Yeah? Fine. Best we just hey, leave this I don't be. care. There's some kind of problem here? You make the rest of us look good. I ain't gonna stand around and take this. Hey, you. You stinking coward. Can't you leave a man be? And you look a lot like one, too. But I'm sure your mother loves you. You just stay back. I can do that to people, but most of the time, you know, they'll just run away. Which makes sense for somebody heckling you in the street nonstop. Hey there, partner. First time here? Wait a minute. Yeah. Come on, yeah, you're here. Yeah, I gotta ride the horse in. Sorry. Oh, it's here. Hmm. Hey, whoa, whoa. When's the last time you fed your nag? Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. Mm hmm Make the mane longer. No harm in gussying your horse up. Just looks like the short like blends in, it looks stupid. Stirrups. Supposed to be able to put on um I don't know, like better stirrups and shit onto my horse, I thought. None of that shit worked. So instead, let's go um Go down there. And right now, the city just, you know, I, I don't know. I figured there'd be so much going on in this city, but it feels like I've seen the same amount of shit here as I have in, like, Valentine. And don't even get me started on roads. There's almost nothing to fucking do in roads besides the weirdo guy that you get the rifle from. The rest of that city is just dead. Empty and dead. Didn't I have a bounty somewhere? I think I did. Folk around here, aren't you? That is no way to speak to a woman. What's the matter with you? Stupid, too. Hey, let's all just take a deep breath, huh? I don't want this. Please! 
Why are you doing this? Oh. Grab this on yourself, you know. I ain't. No, no, this Now, if I loot him, I get in trouble. I'll get bad boy points, but that's it. Got fucked up. Good morning, sir. Uh, partner? Joe-san. What are you doing? Well, excuse you. Let's see where else I want to. Like, where can I go? General store. Let's see, I was there earlier. here see if maybe um where the the fence is maybe it's like you know more of a you know, shady part of town maybe more shit will happen I don't know out of the damn way what's it to be morning sir hey watch it So bad. Don. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. For Christ's oh. sake. Fight me. Susan. Josan. Oh, something happening over here. Flee. You. Yeah. Flee. A coin. Flee. Flee. Won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Every man for himself out here. Hey, stick <laughs> your finger, bastard! No. Yeah. Oh shit! Be one of the first times I've pulled my gun and not accidentally shot. Careful, lady. Watch yourself, fool. What? Seven cross for a while, eh? Oh, excuse me. Whatever you do, don't turn around, lady. Come on, what is your trouble? Shut What's up. wrong with you? God in heaven! Hey, Cap. Hey there, kitty. Pet the kitty. Pet that kitty. Typical cat, just sitting in the middle of the street. What's wrong with you? Go. Watch yourself. Back off of you. I'll let the law take care what of What the hell? Disturbing the peace. You need to open your eyes. Alright, that's it. Where's this guy at? Where? No, 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 no. Disturbing the peace. This piece of shit. All right, now I think can't I like just pay a bounty when shit like this happens and it's like a low crime? Here? Don't think I like you around here. Beat it. Will do. Just uh, misunderstand. And I'm wanted, but I'm. <sighs> I ain't in the mood to repeat myself. I just said wanted. Move along. That's right. So they're just gonna let me go? Do I gotta 
Go pay off my bounty? I mean, there's nothing to investigate here. I went up to the cop, tried to turn myself in. It didn't matter, though. Or what? Let's see. Oh, I don't see a bounty popping up. I gotta pay a fine for her. I didn't even do anything. Desperado set looks pretty cool. Kind of like that one, too. Yeah, I should make, um... I don't sell to stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. It's the things at the, uh... Maybe they were under her clothing and... Sorry. The things that I put on... Where are the things that I put on my uh, my boots that like give me a bonus? That's what I want to get. I want to get some of those things. Fence is... shit to do here in St. Denis. Denis, or whatever the hell. I'm just going to keep calling it St. Denis. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. Um, the city just ain't got much going for it. That, I'm going to get my horse, and I'm going to begin the long journey back to actually do uh you know content and not just meander around the town i don't know man i hear so much like praise about about the towns and the interactions and i'm just not seeing it i'm not seeing it so far and it's like it's slowly driving me a little nuts because you know i hear everyone else having a great time doing it and i'm like what the hell you know like what is you know, where where is this this content so anyway I'm going to wrap up here. Next episode, um, I'll be you know, back at camp doing a camp mission. And I'll see you all then.